Lord, prophet of the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord, Pastor Joanne. Now, the Lord has spoken with me. The Lord has spoken with me on this day. And on this day, the Lord has spoken with me regarding severe distress that is coming upon the face of the earth. Again, in this conversation, the Lord, the God of heaven, the God of righteousness, Jehovah Sid Keno, he has spoken with me about the stress that is coming in the events that demarcate, the events that mark the coming of the Messiah. And in this conversation, the Lord, he took me to the land of Mexico and parts of Latin America. And in Mexico and the other parts of Latin America, the Lord showed me a pastor in the land of Mexico. In the land of Mexico, he showed me a pastor. And the Lord had taken me there to announce the coming of the Messiah and also to rebuke sin. And that means to prepare the way for the coming of the Lord. And then this pastor, I see him making a grievous mistake as I was sitting there. And I see a slide like a big screen in the church. And it shows on the screen a false prophet. And while the Lord had put me there, the Lord took me there and I saw him showing on the screen a false prophet and telling the church he makes a grievous mistake by trying to equal to equalize the mighty servant of the Lord with the false prophets of this world. And he says, look, that prophet is rebuking sin. And then he says, look, he is also like another prophet here. And then I saw the wrath of God. And the Lord spoke by voice and said, How dare you equate my servant with the false prophets of this world? And then I saw the tremendous wrath of God agitated from heaven. And then the Lord took me to a second place in that nation of Mexico. And I don't know whether it was in that church, but still in that nation of Mexico. And I saw the sacrificing of a dog. They sacrificed a dog. After they slaughtered the dog, I see them going and pushing their hands into the dog, the parts of the dog and removing things, and it's sacrificed, and I see the feet of the dog that has been sacrificed in that land and in that church. In that church, I see the sacrificing of a dog after they slaughter the dog, uh, slaughter it open. I see them now taking their hands and touching some parts of the dog, including the private parts of the dog in that sacrifice. It was the most abhorrible sight to behold. And then after that, the Lord showed me the second sacrifice they make is that of a cock. So they slaughter the cock and render it open again. And so they were sacrificing to Satan church. And then after that, I saw, when I looked up, I saw that the wrath of God was agitated seven times higher. And then after that, immediately I saw floods coming into the land of Mexico. 
and the floods came and came and came, and then they became tremendous floods that entered their homes, entered their houses, and tremendous floods entered their homes and their streets and their cities and their villages, and a lot of people were swept by the floods, and I saw the Lord shake the chairs and everything violently, and all the chairs in the church were damaged and broken in small pieces, and the flood swept the people. I saw them dying, a lot of people dying. Now, the Bible is absolutely very clear about the hour in which the church lives us at now. The Bible is extremely eloquent about this hour that we live in. And the Lord has been sending me across the earth, in Finland, in Sweden, all the way to Netherlands, all the way to Chile, and Peru, Canada, all the way to Australia, everywhere on the face of this earth, even Africa, Botswana, Nigeria. The Lord has been sending me to the four ends of the earth, the four principal corners of the earth, fully covered by this message. The time is over, and the Messiah is coming for the church. He is coming for the glorious church, the holy church, the church that is separated from sexual sin, false prophets, false apostles, false evangelists, false teachers, false pastors, name it, falsehood. And the Lord has been clamoring, sounding his voice across the entire earth that the nations must now turn away from evil and seek sin. That the nations must turn away from sexual perversion, sexual sin, homosexuality. That the nations of the earth must turn away from witchcraft, devil worship, idol worship. That they may now return to the highway of holiness, the worshiping of Jehovah Elohim the God of Israel. And the Lord says that at this hour, blessed are those who will hearken to the voice of the Holy Spirit. And the voice of the Holy Spirit is right now going all over the earth, saturating the nations of the earth with the message of the coming of the Messiah, the coming of the Anointed One, the coming of the King of Israel, the coming of the King of Glory. There are nations that are still, apparently, there are nations that are still, according to this vision of the Lord, that are still dropping in darkness. They have not yet known that there is one overruling voice across the face of the earth, overriding and overruling. That there is no other voice right now across the face of the earth that is dispensing the message of Jehovah, Jehovah Elohim, Jehovah Elohim, Jehovah El Shaddai, Jehovah Rohi, Sabaoth, Hoseinu, Eloheka, Eloheinu. There is no other voice right now across the entire face of the earth, even in heaven, that is right now directing the nation and shepherding the nation back to the highway of holiness, that they may prepare the way for the coming of the Messiah. And he says very clearly in the book of Daniel chapter 12, verse 1, that there will be a distress such as has not been seen from the beginning of nations until then, meaning until now. And in Matthew 24, verse 21, he says, For then there will be great distress and equal from the beginning of the world until now, and never to be equal again. 
the Messiah is coming. The distress that the Lord spoke about to Daniel and the Lord Jesus inscribed in the glorious gospel of Matthew is the distress of this hour. It was meant to shake the evil of man, the evil in the church, the evil of the nations, and redirect the nations back to the highway of holiness. In Isaiah 35, verse 8 and 9, that when they walk the way of holiness, they may see the kingdom of God. They may prepare for the coming of the anointed one, the Messiah, the Jesus of Nazareth, the Christ, the darling of heaven, the King of kings and the Lord of lords. He is the Messiah. He is the one that redeemed us from the cross. There is no other. How dare Mexico worship another? Now I've seen a great distress. They will weep. They will run. They will die in their largest number. They are God equal the mighty servants of the Lord. The voice of the Lord of this hour with the false prophets of this world. I've seen the tremendous wrathful hand of God touch that land. When I was in Mexico, I won. And the great distress consumed them until now. And I shaved my head in Mexico. And I blew my hair in the, on, on the mountains of Monterrey. And I went to Puebla. And at the city square, I burned part of my hair. And I took the third, the last third, and I pierced with a sharp knife in the city square in the city of Puebla. In Mexico, look the bloodshed that followed. And I warned them. And I said, if you don't repent, blood is coming. Look the bloodshed in Mexico. Absolutely horrendous bloodshed until now. I cut my hair in Mexico. The Lord commanded me to shave my head in Mexico. How dare them? When will Mexico understand? I have punished thee, I have suffered thee, and yet you have not yet returned to me. Mexico, now I see floods. I don't know where to come from. Probably the ocean will come out and vomit on the land. I see floods. How can Mexico continue with the idol worship, the worshiping of the devil, sacrificing the devil, sacrificing dogs, sacrificing cocks? Did I go to Cholula? Did I go to the part of Puebla called Cholula, the outskirts of Puebla, the city of Cholula? Why well, they offer human sacrifice once every year? They slaughter human beings. Did I go there and warn? And I said, the wrath of God is coming. Look at the wrath that is there now. And yet, Mexico has not yet returned. Has not yet returned to the Lord. Now the wrath of God is coming. And for the other nations, you can now prepare for the coming of the Messiah. Time is over. Time is over. The Lord is coming. I have seen the Messiah. I see him coming. Shalom.